change. That's what Mississippi Poor People's Campaign is demanding from the government. 12 News' Kate Cornell shows us how members took to the streets of Jackson to make their voices heard. Members of the Mississippi Poor People's Campaign, like Francine Jefferson, say they're not happy with the way that the pandemic has been handled by our government. We need the help. They caravaned through downtown Jackson to show solidarity for the 3,676 people in Mississippi whose lives were cut short. Jefferson says after losing her sister-in-law, she's not going to stand idly by. She didn't have to die, that it was a senseless death. So for my family, it's extremely frustrating. The hearse behind me does not actually have a dead body inside of it. It's meant to symbolize the thousands of Mississippians who have passed away from COVID-19 this year. Danielle Holmes says there's much more that Mississippi could be doing to fight back. Our government is playing politics with the lives of people. Our elderly and our kids are on the chopping blocks, and we're demanding a just stimulus. We're demanding immediate relief um, from COVID, mask mandates, PPE gear. Olivia Womack says she's lost 11 family members to COVID-19. There were seven of them to die on my dad's side and then four of them to die on my mother's side. She says it's not just the government who needs to work out the kinks. It's on us too. I want to see people take this more seriously, like actually wear masks, social distance. Mississippi has had a serious problem with like not doing those things. Mississippi Poor People's Campaign is also demanding more accessible testing in rural areas, particularly in the Delta. In Jackson, Kate Cornell, 12 News. Governor Reeves responded to these demands saying that he, quote, has aggressively fought the COVID-19 pandemic from the beginning. He monitors numbers and continues to place mask mandates in specific counties that are hit the, the most. He encourages all Mississippians to social distance and keep gathering small, end quote.